Now to the dangerous heat. There are an average of about 700 heat-related deaths in the U.S. each year. And Ginger is in Arizona taking a look at new technology to help us stay safe in this warming world. Good morning to you, Ginger. Good morning to you, Robin. You know, Phoenix is not only one of the fastest growing, but fastest warming cities in America. And they keep seeing their heat deaths go up. That's why Arizona State University is utilizing this. It's called Andy. It's a thermal mannequin, first of its type, that can go outside, that can help simulate different people, medication, all these different things, so that we can know when humans go from uncomfortable to deadly. Phoenix, Arizona is still baking after having the hottest month ever for any U.S. city on record. Heat is the number one weather killer, more than tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods. And in Phoenix, it's especially deadly when they don't cool off at night. We have the buildings holding on to that sunlight. It creates this solar oven in Phoenix. So here at Arizona State University, they are using this. It is called Andy. It is a mannequin slash robot where they can simulate really any human and how they act around heat and how heat impacts them, especially the all important threshold of what drives somebody to heat stroke. Andy stands for advanced Newton dynamic instrument and he's the first one to to be able to go outdoors. The researchers can even simulate different age, weight and skin colors to see how all demographics react to heat. Andy is like a human. Andy can breathe, sweat. He has a skin temperature so when you touch him it's kind of skin is warm. Oh, wow. You can see how heavy he's sweating right now. So if we were to put a human through this, you could see how much water they would be losing. Andy could have a different body mass index. Andy could have a different size. Andy could be overweight. Maybe Andy takes medication. So Andy can mimic all these different body types. They also measure blood distribution and metabolic heat generation. In future, they hope to be able to detect which organs shut down first and how fast. We dressed Andy to test how different it would be running in a t-shirt versus shirtless. There is less less flux already. Flux. So that means it's essentially accumulating at his chest. Takeaways here, shade is important, we know that, but they say if you put an umbrella over Andy or over yourself, you can take down the heat load by more than 30 degrees Fahrenheit, which can be the difference between life and death, especially with time as it passes. Hydration is key, but there are some body core temperatures that rise so quickly or accumulate heat that you have to have the right type with electrolytes and even salt. And finally, make sure you don't wick your sweat away. Some of that performance material we work out in takes the sweat away from our body. We need that sweat to evaporate and cool us. And then finally, we worked with the ICF. It's a climate group that simulates what it might look like by 2050 if we keep heating the way we are with high emission scenario. We would add 35 plus days of 110 plus, which would make this summer look a whole lot more like average rather than an outlier. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.